Hi everybody! It's been a long time since I have done a mail call video. Why? Because really I don't like doing mail call videos. But I wanted to do this one because this is kind of a special. It's a two part, two box thing. I just ordered these. As you may know, I, my videos have become intermittent as I am spending almost all my time coding. I am working towards trying to increase my video production. I got decent. You know, I'm actually no. I'm actually opening them out of order, but that's okay. I got this here. That little thingy. It's a 32k memory cartridge for an Aquarius. What's an Aquarius? I should say it's a Mattel Aquarius home computer. That's kind of fascinating how you back that up. Let's put it over here. So I got that. So probably it makes you makes you realize, oh, he's got that. So we kind of know what the other thing is. This is a big old beast of a box that I can't really put on my bench. So I'm going to open it off screen and lift things up. You ever use one of these knives? I guess they're called box cutters. And you, you get this, the blade goes dull on you got to take it off and you're supposed to use the end here. Are you like me? I am scared to death to snap this damn thing off. I'm so afraid I'm going to cut myself. I'm like, <laughs> but anyways, that's me. See, and I do it wrong and I bend it. We got a lot of packing peanuts in this beast. Another, this one I opened up earlier, but another mail call thing too is I got all of these: a ColecoVision controller and four Atom controllers. I got those, and what else did I got? I've been getting Coleco cartridges up the wazoo because I got to strip them down. A couple other things: the, the box is still on the floor here. I got two of these fighting sticks from AliExpress, or 4 one joysticks, whatever you want to call them. I have an idea. It probably isn't going to amount to anything, but I have an idea. See this thing? That's, that's pretty nice. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's pretty nice. It's kind of deep. It's got a nice empty box here. My idea is... I'm going to take a Raspberry Pi and embed it inside there and hook it up to it and throw a copy of Raspbian in there and DOSBox and Atom M and make a Atom emulator out of it. Looks like. Oh, another thing I got in a mail call. Guitar Hero. Why did he get a Guitar Hero? Because I'm going to open this up I'm going to look at the buttons and stuff like that and get a feel for it because I'd like to make a Guitar Hero version game for the ColecoVision. So I want to see what we can do with it. This is a PlayStation. Oh, and if you wonder about it, well, it's a PlayStation. How are you going to use it? Um, I do have this here. This little setup here. It's made by Mike Carter. I have yet to test it. But it's a thing he made that allows you to... Wait for it. It allows you to... I have yet to use this thing, so I'm really not sure where it plugs in. Uh, anyways, what it does, and I've got to figure this one out here. To, I, like I said, I haven't plugged it in yet. But it lets you use... Where's it go? Where does things plug into it? Anywho, somehow, i got to figure this out. Maybe I'm wrong on it. Oh, oh okay. Uh, PlayStation 3 and 4, they're darn PC. I, I was hoping that I could, um... But how are you plugging that into there, Mike? <laughs> Anyways. It's an adapter that lets you use, um... A Neo Geo controller. On the, um, Atom. Or Clego Vision. And the Neo Geo controller can also use a PlayStation. I don't know how it works. I'll figure it out someday, but that was cool. Oh. And, and I, got, I got three other Clego Visions out on the floor, too, that I got. So let's dig in the box now. The box. What's in the box? I have not looked in this box yet. All I know is it's loaded with friggin' packing peanuts. Okay, I guess everything is still in the, this box here. It looks like this, everything's in this box. I'm coming. 
the outside box is a little bit messy. No peeking, no peeking. I see you peeking. Alright, so what does we have here? We have a Mattel Aquaria game system. Sorry the camera's so close, it's just the way things are, you gotta learn to deal with it. And it came with a bunch of things. Aquarius Astro Smash. If you know anything about the Retail Aquarius, it has fixed graphics characters, so you can't change them. You got to use what they have here. So, interestingly, that they don't show an actual screenshot of the game. And biorhythms, because we all want to know about our biorhythms. And Utopia. No clue. Oh, look, it's for color TV viewing only. So I guess if you have a black and white TV, you cannot use this. That's kind of weird to put that. I know it's back in 83 and people did have black and whites, but really, how does this game not be... How is it not playable if you have a black and white TV? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, let's keep digging in the box. Here. We got this. What are we getting here? We're getting to the, the meat and potatoes of it. Okay, this is a mini expander. This is what you need to use to be able to actually use the Aquarius for something other than, I don't know. It's not wedge shaped, so you can't call it a doorstop like you would do it. ZX81, ZX, I'm sorry, ZX81. Hey, these got serial numbers on them. Fascinating. So that's an Aquarius mini expander. And then we have the piece de la resistance, the beast. And a piece of paper, what is that? Yeah, uh, why am I passing it? Warning, this equipment has been certified to comply with limits of class B computing devices. That's good. What we got here? Packing peanuts. You know they make um, biodegradable packing peanuts that when you get them wet, they just dissolve? You know what's fun? Is if you drop packing peanuts on the floor and the cat gets into licking it and it just dissolves on them. They, they don't like it. So, contains all you need to get started, except for games. See, game cartridge is not included. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, we got, oh, wait, box? This box is beat up, but still, just really? <laughs> Both heads. Let's see what we got here. Let's open her up. So, we got us a cool box. And just so you see, yeah, see, in the back, it tells you all about it. Uh, mini expander. I don't have the printer, which I don't need the printer. Wow, look how freaking big that printer was. You see that stuff? Hand controller versus foot controller. I don't have a data recorder, but everybody says just use your computer and record your wave files and yeah, yeah, okay. But that's not the same, but I do have a cassette deck, so maybe I can make that work. Oh, that's the Aquarius whole computer, just to see how they point. Oh, see, they recommend you use it with a color TV. It doesn't just yell at you like this other game say color TV only. All right, program catalog. Oh, not just program, but parts too. A mini expander, that's what I got in my hand. Uh, in the box over here. Oh, it comes with two of these controllers. They look like phones. Hello. Uh, memory cartridges, 4K and 16K. I don't have either one now. I got 32K because I, I roll. Data recorder. Again, everybody said, you don't need it, but I kind of like it. I might even get it. Aquarius modem. Doesn't mention anywhere about the speed. I'm going to assume it's 300 baud. The Aquarius printer. You'll find the Aquarius printer a useful addition to your home computer system. It's great for printing personal notes, keeping family records, documenting and debugging programs, even printing charts and graphs. Upper and lowercase characters and graphics are reproduced on paper exactly as you see them on the screen. Except black and white, not color. Master Expansion. This is one thing I guess they never made. Now this is cool. See, look at this. You put this thing in your beast and now you have a CPM disk operating system in here. So you can use this little computer here, which I just realized is upside down. Has a CPM computer, and you can use WordStar or CalcStar or DataStar. There was a lot of stars in CPM. So that's that. Then we got a uh, video cable, big old beast. You see those things? I remember those things. These things never work right. A guide to home computing. All you need to know about your Aquarius home computing system. I guess it's not all because right here it's the simplified portion of it because this is too complex. But. Fascinating, I should have to read that. Oh wait, wait, this is a simplified instruction cards. Keyboard and overlay, meet Aquarius, back panel. Set up, set up, write a program. My first program, 
My first program is not going to be My Program is Running. My first program is going to be Hello World. If I was 10 years old, my first program might be Fart. But it's going to be Hello World. Come on. Graphic Man. Ooh. Duke Nukem. Duke. Running, oh, running Man. You can make a creative Running Man game. Yeah, that, that, wait, this, this is the game you play with your, your, um, your, I don't know who you play as. Do you play as um, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Richard Dawson? Um, or what's that, who was that, Mr. F Sub Zero? Um, or the Burning Guy? <laughs> Oop, I'm popping stuff here. That was a good movie. Corny is all get out, but good. I liked it. I liked, um, what was the name? Was it Selma Hayek? No, it wasn't Selma Hayek. Um, uh, uh, Concha, whatever. Really cute Hispanic girl. Really liked her. Um, show the colors, checkbook, because, oh, wait, let's skip one, color codes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Balance my checkbook. All I need is this one, this 15-line program to balance my checkbook. And since I don't have a cassette deck, I have to type it in every month. I had that problem. When I had the Atari 600 XL when I was 16, 17, I didn't have a cassette deck for a while. And everything I wrote. I had to retype it. I had that problem with my ZX81. Well, Timex Sinclair 1000. I didn't have a cassette deck. I didn't have a TV either. I think I mentioned that in another video. And I had to borrow TVs. But I didn't have a cassette deck. And because I didn't have a cassette deck, I would have to type it in. And you know what sucks when you got the 16K and you're typing away on a little dinky screen, a little dinky keyboard, and it ran pack wobbles and you lose it and you start all over. Yeah, sucked. Editing. Oh, no, that's more. Oh, oh the checkbook is two, uh, 23 lines long. 230. Okay. Editing features. Troubleshooting. Screen stays blank when you turn on Quiris. Make sure TV is plugged in. Okay. Phone help. What? No website? <laughs> Just kidding. I know there's no website. Okay. And then we have the beast. The little beast. This is heavy. This is like a solid chunk of aluminum inside or something. I mean, not only does the, is the wall wart attached, you can never take it off. And no on and off switch, so you just... Or is there, oh, no, there is an on and off switch. Oh, here's on and off switch. Yeah, ain't that convenient. Ooh, I got an extra one of these. Let's just go down here. Okay, and then this right here is where that thing plugs in. So, alrighty. So we got that and that. And then we have a, an overlay on here. Um, okay, I guess that's a basic programming overlay that's on there. All right, I was going to say, I'm surprised they didn't do both sides, but it wouldn't fit. Almost does, but it wouldn't fit. So, yeah, you got that. You got an overlay. So, you got that going for you. Yeah. Chiclet keyboards. As they call them on the Sinclair ZX. The Z O. Oh. <laughs> Total blank there. Spectrum. Thank you. Spectrum. I answered myself. As they call it on the Spectrum. The dead feel. It feels like dead skin, dead flesh when you push up the chiclet keys. I like the reset key is reset, or recess. I don't like that there's actually a reset key up there. Isn't it? There's no other keys on there? Okay. Printer, cassette, channel three or four. All right, so my battery died just when I was just looking at the ports back here. We got a printer, cassette. Interesting that the cassette has a number of different ports. I guess it's for input, output, ground, and the lead that the remote lead that turns it on and off. But printer is just a single cable. That's got to be some of, one of the worst serial cable designs ever made. Uh, I won't be printing much with it, but that's kind of, I just can't get over the fact how heavy this is. So we got that there. Now let's see what else we got going here. We, like I said, we got the mini expander and Adds versatility to your Aquarius unit. Allows you to use a game or program simultaneously with a memory card. That's a good thing because, I mean, this thing has like 4K of RAM in it. And let's just say you you want to have a, you put a cartridge in here to play. And you want some more memory to play with too. So you got that. So, so get a total of up to 20K memory using a 16K memory cartridge. Adds two more sound channels for your audio drum. That's interesting too because I don't even know what sound chip this has in it. But it has like a little beeper, one voice beeper sound. But this adds an AY, what the heck is it? The one that's in the uh, Super Game Module and the MSX computers and all that stuff. So it gives it a really good sound chip. So that's fascinating. Two detachable hand controllers with eight foot of coiled cords for gameplay. So that's what this comes with. And hopefully it's not an empty box. 
Let me see what we got in here. Padding. I don't know if I need to say that, because that's not the... No, no, that's not the original padding. Okay, here. There's a whole bunch of packing material in there. We'll get to why I bought this later. But So that's your mini expander, and it plugs in the back there, and how to install cartridges in top of it. And easy to read these insert layers. Oh, I only got one controller with it. You beast, I only got one controller. And it's got like a D-pad type thing here, so you know. See, left, right, up, and down. I don't know if it does all diagonals. And then you got one, two, three, and four. It's like a remote control in a way. It's got a DB9. I wonder, is it like Atari compatible? Oh, no. So what you got here, you got your memory expansion here. This is where this will plug in back here. And then this is for game cartridges up front here. Kind of fascinating how they did that. So, what we got here is that. Let's just set this off to the side right now. And my phone's dinging up a storm in there. I'm going to go check it out in a minute. And this we got the Aquarius Biorhythms. I can chart my one-person biorhythm and my two-person biorhythm. And I'm just going to assume that these boxes just have a cartridge and maybe a manual in it. Oh, they got a little plastic case to hold it too. Manual for intended purposes. Make sure it's... Oh, they say color TV in here too. Why is it for color TV only? Is the colors just is is this, the design of the colors on here so bad that if you use black and white you can't tell what color gray it is? Oh, these just, look how bulky these are and at the same time so thin and lightweight. Wow. They're all I mean they're made that way just to fit this thing, but I, I'm going to assume that right here's your PCB and all this other stuff on the top is just dead space. Nothing in it. And don't get my attitude wrong like, oh my god, I'm knocking this. I'm not knocking it. I'm kind of fascinated by this little computer here. I'm just... I'm always skeptical about everything in the world. I just am. I'm a skeptical human being. So what we got here? We have... Oh, this one came with a few overlays on Utopia. Okay. Oh, it's got more things in here too. What are these? Oh, overlays for the game, for the, de uh, the keyboard. I like how they split them up just to get them in there. Get boat. Oh, for one player and two player. Oh, I get it. Left and right. All right. Yeah. All right. Is this like a Sims game? I doubt it. Okay. And again, it's for color TV only. So, you black and white people out there, you're screwed. No monochrome for you. I used to love monochrome monitors. My, the favorite monitor I had was the green screens and the amber screens. The best monitor I ever had was a black and white monitor where the text on it was just a white on black screen. I could stare at that thing all night long without getting bloodshot eyes. Okay, and this is Astro Smash. Again, it comes with a keyboard overlay. Surprisingly, Biorhythms didn't come with any overlays, but I'm going to assume there probably isn't much with Biorhythms. You enter in your birth date and then watch it print a nice little sine wave chart across the screen. I used to write those things in there for the Apple II when I was in high school. So we got those games there. And then this one right here, this is new. Synapsis Technologies. This is they recommend I get this one to go with this game thing here. In in the next video, I'm going to I'm going to hook it all up and see how it works. But just in case anyone here, let's just bring everything out here. Let's just make it look all pretty and stuff on the table here. Put up here. So yeah, you got that there. We got some books. We got some doodads and weeblies, and we got some game cartridges over here. And I got the beast right here. This right here too. This is almost bigger than the computer. But anyways, why did I do this? Because in 8-Bit Millie Games, we are now on our third game and almost finished with Arcadian. And I am going to do a Kickstarter to make a conversion of Turmoil 2022 for the Aquarius that I, as long as the Kickstarter goes well, It'll be out in June, maybe mid-May. I'm debating if it's going to be cartridge or if it's going to be tape. Tape is nice because tape is easier, but I don't know how the cartridges work on here. Maybe I can design a cartridge just as easily. Because, I mean, you could make a, P a PCB that just goes in here without the shell. Or I can look at how they did this and see if this is 3D printable. Who knows? 
I'll be able to 3D print my own version of it. And then, anyways, I gotta look at how the cartridge is made, what's involved in it. It can't be much. It's probably, since it's only a 16K cartridge, I mean, I'll, I'll take one of these and I'll pop it open and I'll see what it's made like inside. And I'm pretty sure somebody did a Gerber for it somewhere. From what I've been told, though, there is no homebrew cartridges for the Aquarius. So maybe it comes at first. A little green light there. So, keep an eye on the store. You're going to see more information about it. And the Kickstarter will be out soon. But, that's this. And, like I said, my next video, I'll have this all hooked up. And I'll show you that it works. Or I'll be like, I just wasted a whole bunch of money and it don't work. And I have no clue how to fix it. Have an awesome day.